Hello Survivor! Do you want to create your own custom tribe flag in the Survival of the Fittest? Then I've got the guide for you. This will work on the Steam version and I also believe the Xbox if you have the Windows 10 version when the Survival of the Fittest releases on that platform on the 31st of January. It works the same as the Ark based game if you are already familiar with that. In just a few very simple steps you can have a custom tribe flag just like this. Firstly, you will need to download the Arc Paint Editor, which is known as the Arc PNT Editor, which can be located either through a Steam page or directly from the site where it's stored. You can find the links to these in the description below. This very small application is used to convert your chosen image into a PNT file. Next, you need to have your chosen image, make it a good one, that you want to use for your flag, and it needs to be exactly 256 by 256 pixels, no less, no more. Once you have your image, open up the Arc PNT editor. Then you need to select a template. The template you will need for the Survival of the Fittest tribe flag is the single panel flag. All of these other options can be used in the regular Arc Survival Evolved game for the different types of flags, billboards and dinos. Next, you need to click load image and locate your chosen file wherever you have it stored on your PC. You will then be asked if you want to reduce the colors of the image. For this, in most cases, you will need to select yes, as Arc's color palette is very limited. You will then see your image in a reduced quality, but hopefully still pretty recognizable. Don't worry about the dimensions of it, it is still perfectly fine. If you're happy with how your image looks, you then need to select save as arc PNT file. This file then needs to be saved in the location you have arc the survival of the fittest saved. So in most cases, that would be where Steam is installed. So it would be in Steam apps, common, arc SOTF, shooter game, saved my paintings. Now, if you haven't done anything like this before, you're unlikely to have a My Paintings folder. So if you don't have one in the saved folder, simply create a new folder called My Paintings with a capital M and a capital P and place your image in there. Your chosen file name, and for this example, I'm going with GP, needs to have the following appended to the end, underscore tribe flag underscore C dot PNT. If you don't have this appended to it, then it won't work. And I believe the capital letters, the T, the F and the C are required to be capitalized. Now you are ready to paint your gorgeous flag. When you enter the Survival of the Fittest lobby, press L to create a tribe. Then select Paint Tribe Flag. Next, click on the paintbrush with the upward facing arrow. Then pick your tribe flag, which will be named with the initial part of the file name that comes before the underscore tribe flag underscore C. So in this case, it was simply GP. You'll then see your image appear along with the colored dyes required, which of course you don't need in this game as it automatically gives you all the colors you need. Next, click on the paintbrush again with the upward facing arrow. This will start painting your flag. Depending on how detailed your flag is, this may take a little while, meaning that with this screen up, you can't do anything else until it's finished. But don't worry, it is working fine. There's no need to exit out of the game. And there you have it. You have your very own custom made tribe flag ready for action. Survivors, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please let me know in the comments and good luck to you in your survival of the fittest battles. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest art news. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.